Good morning, folks. We begin today at the Southwest Pacific. A 6.5 earthquake struck about two dozen miles below the surface between New Zealand and Tonga. No tsunami is likely. Sticking to the underground rumbling, we learned that Sinabung was rocking in the evening news last night. Well, this morning, the Tungurahua volcano is at it again as well. Beautiful shots coming in all over the internet for this one. Let's go to today's top stories. We're beginning to learn more about planetary formation around star systems that are not like our own. It's very much related to our explanation of other worlds, just like our star water principle of cloudy stars. Expanding the water vapor and sunspots proof that NASA gave us, this is a terrific first step in cloud mapping a brown dwarf. The latest fly on the wall audio file discusses storm surges a bit. It's tough to believe some of these systems affecting the UK and Ireland here, especially the surge heights, which would be deadly if they happened in Florida per se. Strong low pressure there. No watches down under right now, rain still scattered, but the major developments taking a day off. Looking at the Pacific, here we see the system of lows in cooperation shifting equatorial heat and moisture not just over Alaska but into the Arctic Circle. Everything misses the awful Cali drought zone, but the cold definitely doesn't want to share her room so she slides down over the Midwest at this point. You see the vortex matching, just know that the surface drive will keep the east a bit warmer for another day. Solar wind, starting to get his mean mug ready. Speed and plasma temperature are rising with some variable density. Remember, a coronal mass ejection impact is expected today at any moment. Instability isn't exactly waiting for it. Radio signals are dropping out periodically as the sun is flaring a bit bigger this morning as well. Got at least one more Earth-directed CME, almost certain, but almost certain to be small to moderate as well. The sunspots are looking stronger. You go up north with an arguable delta development and positive out front trying to rep the solar polarity reversal. Down south we have the meshing in the center of that largest umbra, multiple delta zones and we'll be lucky to keep these to M range today. Earthquake and solar flare uptick continues, still got my eye on Greece for those foreshocks. Vimeo appears to be back up and running so the website should be as well. That was not a fun surprise after all the work for yesterday's video, oh well. Here are current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone. Thank you.